Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Weir, and I gotta tell you, I love life. But when I'm not being a husband, a father, a grandfather, an author, or a practicing chiropractor, I'm the host of the television show, Loving Life with Dr. Tim Weir. I love to cook. I love to travel. I like to spend time with people who do what they love and love what they do. Join me and Elvis for the next 30 minutes as we help you discover how to love life. Hey, welcome to this episode of Loving Life. I'm glad you joined me today, because today we're going to be talking about how to expand your life. Hey, we're talking about mountaintop experiences, and I'm with David Colgan. David? We got to get people to the mountaintop. Yeah, let's get them here. So how do we do that? We talk about reading and all that kind of stuff. Let's talk about that. Okay. The average millionaire reads 52 books a year. It's a lot of books. Yeah. And I know you're you're uh, and you just tear up books. Love reading. What's one of your favorite books? The Art of Living by Epictetus. It's a great book. It's really short, really easy, um, very practical applications to it. Phenomenal book. Who's Epictetus? So Epictetus is a, um, he's a Stoic philosopher and a uh, really interesting life story. Um, he was actually a slave in um, the Roman Empire and, you know, uh, through teaching himself and through thinking and through philosophy, he kind of rose to a status where, you know, thousands of years after, after his passing, he's still remembered as one of the greatest philosophers of all time. So really, really interesting story. You've got some stuff highlighted. Just pick out a couple of them and just read them. Yeah, so just randomly here. Um, here's a good one. So, authentic happiness is always independent of external conditions. Vigilantly practice indifference to external conditions. Your happiness can only be found within. You know, I, I was thinking about it as I was reading this the other day. Um, this has a lot of, Stoic philosophy has a lot of parallels to a lot of other religions and philosophies. Um, there's a really phenomenal operating system. It's a really great way to look at life and kind of go through life. And when you think about expanding your own life and expanding your experiences, um, you know, one, one way that you can do that certainly is by reading and trying to improve yourself and, and um, have a better view of the world and your interaction around the world. I'm telling you, it's all about loving life. It's all about yep. finding things that that can help turn you on and how I can improve my life. Reading is one of those. So, I mean, because so, I was looking at this a little bit earlier, here's, here are just little one page things that you could read. You could take this when you get up early in yep. the morning and just read just that one part yep. and just munch on it all day long and see what, what can I get from that that can help change my life. Exactly, it's great, it's a good book. Go to our website, drtimweir.com. We'll put you in, uh, in, into a point where you can find out how to get this book and change your life. Mountain Top Experience. Life is all about choices. So the choice with you is you either live in the valley or you live up on top of the mountain. The difference is your viewpoint. When you live down in the valley, all you see is the valley. You look out, you see a side of a mountain or you see your neighbor's house. But when you're up on the mountaintop, you have the view of it all. You can make some decisions based on that. If you're making valley decisions, you're making decisions that are very limited in what you see. But if you can get yourself up on the mountaintop, you're going to make some decisions based on mountaintop ideas. How do you get there? You decide, number one, I'm going to change my viewpoint. I'm going to change what I think about and what I do. Number two, you got to spend time elevating yourself. And how do you do that? You read books. You listen to CDs that are incredibly powerful that help pull you up the mountain. Don't try to just climb there by yourself. Let somebody else who's already up there pull you up. What an amazing concept. It takes all the work out of it. So, what are we going to do? We're going to change what we think about. Number two, we're going to start reading some stuff, listening to some things. And number three is hang around people who are on the mountain. If you hang around people who live in the valley, you're going to keep getting valley concepts and it doesn't work. 
they're going to pull you back down to that valley level. You've got to live on the mountaintop. And when you do that in your life, you're going to start seeing things from a whole different level where I can, I can barely see here. I can barely make my bills. I can barely do this. I, and all of a sudden, you, your viewpoint starts going up and you say, oh man, th those, those bills are nothing at all. All I, in order to pay my bills, all I have to do is this. Or I see a different viewpoint of it. Oh man, if I would just change that, then my whole life would change. It's all about loving life. It's all about finding those things, discovering them. And you're never going to do that in the valley. Don't change the channel. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Anita. I was in an accident with whiplash, medium, and lower back pain, and I came to Raleigh Injury Chiropractic, and I believe it was the best thing I ever done. The staff here is wonderful. Dr. Weir is great. You might couldn't ask for nothing else better in Raleigh, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad to maintain my health. Hey, I'm Dr. Tim Weir. If you want results like Anita, call our office today, 919-790-1332. Call right now. Uptone Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap, and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. I'm with the queen of keto, Amy Smith. I love that name because she, I, I'm telling you, she's taken some concepts, she's taken some confusing stuff and taken the confusion out of it, made it simple for you. Thank you for being with me. So many misconceptions about keto. What's the number one you hear, do you think? Number one misconception I hear on keto is that certain foods are unlimited, that you could eat as much of keto-friendly foods as you want and lose weight on the keto diet. Totally false, myth busted. We just busted a myth. Man. Because that's not true. I don't know anybody that could eat unlimited of anything and lose weight of anything. So with that being said, really still need to track your calories, especially if you're in this diet to lose weight. Now how awesome is that? Because most people don't think that. Now, I'm not saying that you have to like walk around and like, you know, okay, I've had water and I, you know, it didn't have to be that serious, but you should know roughly about how many calories you can consume and still lose weight. We have a great calculator that'll set your macros for you and it'll also give you the calories in, on our Push For Your Better group page in our announcement post, which is the very first post on the thing. Facebook just changed that up on me, changed it from a pin post to an announcement post. This, they like to, Change always change things. stuff up. Yeah, yeah, you just like wake up one morning and you log in and you're like, 
Oh, I've been talking about this pin post for eight months. Now it's gone. Okay, so it's an announcement post on Facebook. Um, Push for Your Better is our group and it has that calculator listed um, and a video that I've done specifically walking you through the calculator to get it for weight loss. So how cool is that though? Because it takes the guesswork out of it. Absolutely. I'm telling you, anyone can do this diet and be successful at it. I'm a living example of that because I've tried to, you know, I've tried all those diets and the pills and everything, and you might go down a little bit, but you can't sustain that. This, you have absolutely no hunger. So what? how does that happen? Do you feel better? Oh, energy like out the yazoo. Right? It's amazing, right? Um, because once again, you're going back to how your body's supposed to run. We have screwed up our bodies. I know, shocking, right? We've done it to ourselves. And food manufacturers and pharmaceutical companies have helped in the cause. Um, they have helped put all these fillers and cheap stuff into our foods and now we consume them. And guess what? When you consume them, your body doesn't know what to do with it. So guess what it does? It stores it. Fat. It just hangs it on. Yeah. And that's why your clothes don't fit. Your dryer's not shrinking them. They just don't fit. I know, right? Three different dryers I bought thinking that that was what. <laughs> That is funny, but that's true. It is, it's completely true, so it's super easy. Restaurants, I'm telling you, to make it taste good, they put so much sugar and so much stuff in there. And spices, and you have to ask at restaurants. It's super important. Um, what is this cooked in? Most restaurants now all carry olive oil or coconut oil, which are, or avocado oil, which are all keto approved. But guess what? Vegetable oil, vegetable oil and canola oil is cheaper. So guess what they do? By the way, those things are terrible for They're you. They're horrible for every part of your body. Yeah. Your cholesterol, your heart. Um, so, oh, you wanna talk about another big misconception. Okay, let's talk about another big misconception. That eating all of that high fat is gonna cause your cholesterol to go up. Fat makes you fat. Eating fat makes you fat. How, how was the other diet? How was the, st the sad diet, the standard yeah. American diet working for you? That's what drives me crazy is that people don't want to change what they're doing. What you're doing is not working. The good news, the good news is that right now, uh, well, in the end of 2017, a study came out that one to 2% of the, Amer of the North American population is on some version of the ketogenic diet. It's amazing. I mean, I have helped over 75,000 people in my keto group to lose weight. We have now lost over a million pounds combined. Wow. A million pounds combined in our Push For Your Better group. And those are just the ones that have told us and tracked it. I still have people that message me and say, well, I've been doing this for nine months, but I didn't really say anything. Yeah. And, I didn't, and then they send me these pictures and I'm like, what has happened? I've lost right at 100 pounds myself. You look marvelous. Thanks. We were shopping yesterday. My mom still has to remind me what size I wear sometimes because I still continue to yeah. go to larger sizes or pick up and um, it's been a whole lot of fun. That's awesome. And I feel amazing. You can too. You can keto. Check her out, okay? I'm telling you, you're gonna feel like a million bucks. Don't change the channel because we got a lot more coming up. Dr. Tim Weir wants people like you to enjoy life to the fullest, and he has written several books. These down-to-earth, easy-to-read resources will help you love life. For example, You're Not Crazy, An Overcomer's Guide to Fibromyalgia. This book has helped hundreds of people. Or How to Reboot Your Brain When Drugs and Therapy Have Not Worked. This amazing book will help you or a loved one retrain the brain. Wake Up and Dream is a wake-up call so you don't sleep through life. Go to www.drtimweir.com and order your copy today. Uptone Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap, and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? 
Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Hey, we're with Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest. What does a Lieutenant Governor do anyways? That's a great question. On my first campaign trail, it was all, I always started every presentation with that. You know, how many people even knew that we had a Lieutenant Governor and how many of you knew what the Lieutenant Governor yeah. does? Because it's just it's an under the radar type of role. You know, it, it, every state is a completely different role, by the way. It's all really? depends on the Constitution, depends on the legislature, depends on the governor, whether they're connected. In North Carolina, there's no connection between lieutenant governor and governor at all. They're completely separate offices, believe it or not. Um, but in North Carolina, you're the president of the Senate, so you preside over the, the Senate as the you know uh, session is going on. Uh, you sit on the State Board of Education by Constitution, Community College Board, Economic Development Board, I chair the Energy Policy Council. You know, there's all these types of uh, boards and committee responsibilities that you have. But for the most part, you travel the state like the governor does, you try to get this holistic perspective of the state, what's going on, what's the state look like today, and then you become kind of that connector of parts, right? So who's really looking at all the pieces and parts of the state and how they, how they get connected? Mm. And what does the future of North Carolina look like? You know, I've always thought that we ought to have a presidential election. The winner is the president, the loser is the vice president. Yeah, well, uh, it used to be that way, right? We used really? to have those. Uh, we used to have those kind of turmoils in our country. We did it for a couple cycles, and it didn't work out. Didn't too work out. Yeah, okay, it wasn't too amicable. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Forget I said that. So the future of where we're at, where we are, and where we're going. Where, where do you feel like we are? Well, I mean, I think that uh, on you know, one hand, we are still, as North Carolinians, kind of hanging on to the past a little bit. Uh, those industries and those things that kind of got us here, agriculture is still our number one industry. I think there's a lot of great innovation going on in the agriculture world right now. And so food manufacturing and uh, food innovation and those types of things, you know, there's going to be a day in the very near future when somebody's going to say, hey, tell me what your genes are and I'm going to tell you what food to eat. I mean, that kind of research is going on right here in North Carolina. You know, on the healthcare side, we have Dr. Atala, uh, who you should have on a show sometime, who's down at uh, Wake Forest uh, University Medical Center, wow. who is doing regenerative medicine. So he's growing body parts. So he grows a bladder. He takes a, a 3D printer and prints the framework for oh that bladder, God. takes your cells out of your body, plants them onto that framework, and your own very bladder grows, and then he transplants it into your body, and there's no rejection. Talk about the future of healthcare. Yeah. Think about regenerative yeah. medicine. Yeah. Think about things like uh, intelligent transportation. Um, you know, there's only two places in the world where aerospace engineering and R&D and, and um, and development work is going on, and that is here in the Southeast United States and in Southeast Asia. And so we're gonna see this explosion of aerospace work, and, and I think you're gonna see an explosion of intelligent transportation around there. Every, every major manufacturer out there of, of airplanes and cars is, is working on 
the next levels of transportation, not just driverless cars, but flying cars. Uh, some people think, oh, that's craziness, you know, but Uber has already said within a year they want to have a flying taxi, uh, you know, on the market. And within a few years they want that to be a uh, unmanned flying taxi, right? So people are developing these things right now. I've already ridden in one of those. How, how was yeah, it? it was like, was it like? flying. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like flying. Yeah. So I'm excited about the future. Yeah. I really am. Uh, but it's a balance between what's the good of the past and yeah. what's the good of the future. So yeah. it is. I mean, I think you have to look, uh, you know, especially as a North Carolinian, what do we love about North Carolina? What do we love about our state? What do we love about the, the culture of this place, Southern hospitality and all the, the things that make this place great? How do we hold on to that? How do we hold on to the value of family that's disappearing very quickly? Uh, and then at the same time, look to the future with hope, right? So um, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's always a, a challenging balance. I'm glad you're here with us. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having doing me. What I've you enjoyed do. it. Yeah. I appreciate Thank it you. so much. Can we take a little tour of the, uh, yeah, let's do it. the office? Let's do it. Don't change the channel, we got some cool stuff coming up. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There's the answer, come. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Uptone Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications with spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap and practical stages along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion. Hi, my name is Anita. I was in an accident with whiplash, medium, and lower back pain, and I came to Raleigh Injury Chiropractic, and I believe it was the best thing I ever done. The staff here is wonderful. Dr. Weir is great. You might know, couldn't ask for nothing else better in Raleigh, and I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad to maintain my health. Hey, I'm Dr. Tim Weir. If you want results like Anita, call our office today, 919-790-1332. Call right now. All right, so we're here in your office, which used to be a home. Yeah, it was, uh, it was actually a residence until the 1960s and at that point in time, the state of North Carolina bought it and uh, turned it into government offices. It's been all kinds of government offices through the years. And in about the 1980s, I guess it was uh, Jim Gardner, when Jim Gardner was Lieutenant Governor, mm -hmm. he kind of chose this spot uh, to be an office for the Lieutenant Governor. And so the Lieutenant Governor's office has been here, pri the primary office for the Lieutenant Governor since then. And so uh, we got here and uh, ended up walking in after we got elected, kind of the first time we really 
had to take a look at it. It was really a mess. It was kind of 70 years of neglect, so to speak. Bright red carpet, wow. old, you know, just bad government furniture. Paint was peeling off the walls. Old fluorescent light fixtures hanging I've had from everywhere. Cheese. That's, that's it, government cheese. That's government cheese. Yeah, it would be, this good. would be worse than government cheese. <laughs> so, uh, so as an architect, I ended up calling out kind of all my architecture favors from friends, and yeah. I had a bunch of friends just step up and, and really oh, and donate things to the state. So oh, we're wow. we're just going to give this to the state. So that we have all the furniture you see is either donated or on loan to the state from people just out of the goodness of their hearts. But new carpet, uh, new furniture, new paint new plaster, a new kitchen was donated uh, by somebody who just came and said, we're just going to do this and give this to the state. So it was wow. kind of a cool, as an architect, it was fun to well, watch that's really neat. transform. And so we, you know, we, we did things like that. Yay. This is um, a little piece of history, which is actually just kind of fun as much as anything, but this is um, a part of a tree, a big old oak tree that uh, fell down across, it was right across the street and it was called the Henry Clay Oak. And so we do an event every year called Henry Clay Day in honor of Henry Clay. And Henry Clay probably would have been President of the United States. He was on track to be president. Wow. And he came through Raleigh one day, sat right across the street under this giant oak tree and penned a letter. And in that letter he was really warning against um, uh, trying to bring Texas into the United States because he didn't want to get into a war with Mexico. And some, obviously some of his uh, uh, predictions came true, but that just that letter cost him the presidency. He was no longer the front runner of the presidency. And that happened right down the street here. And so we have what is left. This is the remaining piece of that oak tree. And so um, there's actually a cigar called a Henry Clay Cigar. So Henry Clay Day is everybody toasts with a cigar. I'm not a cigar smoker, but we have a lot of cigar smokers that show up and Give a toast to Henry Clay. You can get some bubblegum ones. That's right. That's what I should do. You're exactly right. Hey, hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed having you with me. I enjoyed it. Thanks Man. for having me. It was a lot of fun. I'll have to do it again sometime. It's all loving life. Keep loving life. So go to our website, drtimweir.com. Loving life with Dr. Tim Weir is the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all this stuff crazy. I think I'm going to change my slogan to loving life with Dan Forrest. How do you feel about that? I could go with it. Yeah. Okay, so listen, it's all about loving life, so keep loving life until next time. Let's just have fun. Loving life.